Okay, so this is the fourth brocade. It's called Looking Back Seven Times to Rid the Body of the Five Injuries and Seven Toils. Uh, the five injuries refer to any imbalances to the five Zong and Fu organs um, in five element theory. And the seven toils involve emotions or various emotions that are associated with the organs. For example, fear, anger, joy, sadness, worry, fright, for example. Um, basically, as Mr. Chan would say, nervous disorders. Um, the spine connects the brain to the organs and the organs to the brain, and this is how they speak to each other. So we want to keep that open. Um, there are various versions of this. Some versions you'll just turn and look back towards your heel as you press down like this. And these are very basic mechanical versions and I'll t teach that to a person if they have a lot of tightness and stiffness um, to try to get the body open first. You know, look to the first What's causing the blockage? <clears throat> but if a person doesn't show those kind of things, I'll go into this version. And this version is a version I've used over the past 15 years with various people with cancers and such. And all manner of illnesses, even osteonecrosis and irritable bowel syndrome, you name it. Uh, this helps balance the emotions and the emotions pull the organs out of whack. So, Mr. Chan's, the version that I'm learning here is a little different. Usually the eyes will look down and back, but this one we also look up. So when we're looking up, in, in massage, you, you massage from the top down in massage theory. So we're gonna look up first and what we're going to do is we're going to sweep with our eyeball only. So we're not doing a whole lot of this turning. It's more just keeping the head loose and using the eye to move. And the eye is going to sweep this hemisphere of the brain, so to speak. There's something called neuro-linguistic programming that uh, law enforcement officers use it, for example, to see if someone is lying. If they create, they'll often look to this side of the, this hemisphere, the right hemisphere, to create a memory versus looking here to recalling a memory versus looking to the body to access a feeling, which ties in with the five zong and fu organs and the seven toils, the emotions. Um, so if I'm looking up, also, there's something called EMDR, eye movement desensitization and rehabilitation. And it's used in helping a person deal with traumas. So they'll sweep the hemisphere also. But, you know, if your eye skips, and instead of having a nice smooth sweep, it's something's hidden. <laughs> you want to look to that little, you want to get rid of that skip. And the same with the eyes in all positions. That's what I'm looking for is a nice smooth sweep of the eyes and bring them back. Okay. Um, I've also added a little extra piece to this that's also in the seated eight brocades where you'll tap the heavenly drum and cover the ears. And I'll explain that as we get to it. You don't have to add that part to it if you don't want to. Like I said, I've been doing this for years and I use that there. And uh, it makes changes occur that I'm looking for. Anyhow, so let's get started. We start in a natural stance. You exhale, step out and hook step and inhale up into this opening position and then sit into this position. Now, another thing for con of consideration is uh, if you were tracking an animal, when an animal turns one way or another, the substantial and insubstantial of its feet changes. In other words, which toe is digging deeper into the soil 
which will give a tracker an indication as to which direction the animal turned. So when you're doing your movements in this, you want to try to feel those changes happening in your hands and feet. Let the hands and feet be loose and open enough that you can feel those changes. Okay, so I come down to here. I'm going to inhale and I'm going to exhale and I'm just going to turn my eye, not my whole head. And at the same time, I want to kind of prop like an on force. So I'm going to push down gently and the head up gently to stretch the spine. <coughs> the body's going to turn a little bit because it's all connected, but I don't want you to actually turn it. Just don't get in the way of it turning if it wants to turn a little bit. So. back to center, do it the other side. I do seven on the top. Seven on the bottom like this. After doing seven, I'll get back in, I'll put my hands there, take a short breath, turning my waist, and exhaling, I'll warm my hands. I'm going to put the hands to the ears. The hands, you have the Lao Gong or the fire element, the ear is the external of the kidney in Chinese medicine or the water element. And when you do these things, if you really do them, you might start to actually feel the connections between these things. Um, I absolutely do, which is why I do this. Um, there's a part when they're covering my ears, I'll first do nine breaths very quietly. With each exhalation, I'll do a quiet ha sound and release some energy from the palms into the ears, into the kidneys. After nine of those, which are done quiet and slow, I will tap the head on the back 24 times like this. Not the snapping type that I'll do in a seated rotate, but actually rolling all the fingers. So one, two, three, 24 times. Um, when I'm inhaling, I'll hold my hands up naturally when I exhale, I want to let the hands go as if they want to fall forward. And I'm going to hold those hands from falling forward by holding my crown point up and keeping my eyes looking up. This is going to strengthen my spine and also help to straighten the upper part of the spine and open the area. I'm also going to hook the hands on the back here around gallbladder 20 area and the occiput. So the arms are going to like fall forward this way, which would want to pull the body like this, but I'm going to hold the head up with the arm, uh, the arms up with the head. Okay. So after doing the nine breaths, So as I inhale, I'll just hold these hands here. And when I exhale, I'll let them relax. We'll do that nine times, and then we'll tap 24 times like this.
And this is that brocade. Thank you for your time.